JC here once again at 2022 SHOT Show and uh, we got William here with uh, Scout Air Guns and we want to find out about Scout Air Guns and I guess William's the man to do it. Thank you, I appreciate yes, you no coming problem. on camera here. Well, we come out of the paintball industry. We've been manufacturing paintball guns really? for okay. 30 years. We actually developed and patented the first air rifle, electronic air rifle. Really? All the patents, they've all they're all done now, but yeah. that's where our start was. And then we spent many years in the paintball industry competing in tournaments worldwide. We have about 12 um, international titles to our name. Wow. All these guys here have all played professionally for years. So our goal was to take all the knowledge that we had learned to paintball and apply that to PCP. Nice. Which is what we've done with this new Scout Air Rifle. Um, to give you like a, a little bit of where we went with this, when we first started firing paintball markers, we were about 850 pounds per square inch to produce 300 pounds per square inch. Okay. Today, we've dropped that to 120 pounds per square inch to produce the same velocity. Nice. Well, in learning how to do that with valving, one of the biggest things a uh, air gunner can appreciate is how low we were able to drop the pressure in this gun. Oh, yeah. So at 25 caliber, Normally, you're about 1,850 to 2,000 pounds per square yes, inch to produce yes. 900 feet per second. Yep, that's pretty standard. We're right around 900. Really? Okay. Unbelievable. So the way we're able to do that has to do with the way we design these guns. We use a small solenoid valve. Okay. And basically, we pilot using that valve. We open a larger valve, but we're able to dump the entire pressure. So. What you're used to with a PCP is you've got a hammer yep. and then you have a valve. And as you raise the pressure behind the valve, it takes more and more hammer pressure. Yes, it does. To get the valve open. So you run into a limit where you yep. actually increase the pressure on this side of the valve and you decrease the velocity. Yep. What we were able to achieve is a complete dump of the chamber. Itself. We're using lower pressure air. We're accelerating the pellet over a longer distance okay. down the barrel. Also, though, lower pressure means less vibration, less noise, a lot of positive things for yes. an air rifle. Yeah. What else can I tell you? Barrel technology. Barrel is critical for any air rifle. Yep. Uh, we were always known for our barrel technology paintball, so we developed our own methods of manufacturing barrels. And we're wow. able to, well, we offer this in 177, 22, 25, 30, and 35. Oh, wow. All the calibers. Wow. But we give you three inserts per caliber. So we give you a tight, medium, and light bite for your cap, for your actual pellet. Okay. So if you were to, if you push like a 35 uh, through each of these, you'll yeah. see the difference in the bite. And what gotcha. that allows, you know, pellets, tremendous number of pellets out there, and a lot of air rifles shoot one pellet pretty well, but if you move yes. to a different- Yes, uh, it's so common, exactly. it's so common. So what we're trying to do is not only allowing you to control your velocity and your pressure, but also allowing you to change your barrel custom, to basically change your barrel insert within a caliber. Yes. Okay? Um, let's see, what else? We have a, a rapid, we have a ratcheting system for, a very, for rapid deployment of the barrel. Okay. So basically it, it locks two tapers together and ratchets, that's somewhat unique. Yeah. Um, okay, from a trigger standpoint, a pull standpoint, yeah. this is the actual pull of the trigger. It's, it's between, um, 50 and 80 grams, extremely light. Nice. So here's what we had to do though, is we have to make it safe. So there's an actuator switch. You see it right here? Okay. So this is a programmed window. So okay. I hit this button. So you if hit I'm running, it might be 20 seconds. But if I'm bench shooting, say I'm going to Arizona and I'm yeah. going to compete, yes. I set it to half an hour. Okay. So it depends on, you know, but it's a safety. Yes. And as soon as, soon as that time window's out, deactivates the gun completely. Of course, if you re-hit it, you reactivate the gun. Gotcha. Um, wow. Let's see. Now, what do, you get, what do you get roughly shots out of this, out of the fill? Well, you're going much deeper into your tank. Yes. So, but we are using a little bit of gas for the yes. solenoid. So yeah. basically, there's two regulators on this gun. Okay. And I gotta tell you a little bit of regulators, because they're unique. Yes. One regulator regulates to 125 pounds per square inch. Okay. Which is all you need for your solenoid. Okay. Uh, so each shot, you're using a small amount of air, but at that pressure, 
compared to the entire tank, it's a very small amount of air. Yeah. So we lose a little there, but then we go much deep for, you know, at 1800 PSI, 25, you're pretty much done, and we're going much deeper into the tank. Yes. So the shot counts are consistent with what you're used to, 120 shots. Oh, wow, you know, nice. It's, it's, uh, but they're it, all nice. It depends all nice. on your count. As you get larger, yep. obviously, you're yeah, you're going to need more air, air to push, the, push, exactly. push your exactly. pellet, yeah. Um, the, um, the other thing about this that's really unique is, um, so the gun, all our paintball guns have this. We have a onboard speaker system. Okay. All right, and it actually speaks to you in five languages. So all your adjustments <laughs> are Welcome, Welcome to the Lux experience. experience. And you wow. can set all your modes. Well, we've done this We've done this for almost 10 years, so yeah. we put it in there. So you put it in there. Yeah, exactly. So we have wow. LCD, LCD displays as well as your feedback. And this, wow. this regulator is really interesting. Years ago, we had to develop what was called the Max Flow Regulating Technology because at air gun events, right, we can't degas. You know, when you turn yeah. the regulator up in air gun, you can turn one way, but if you turn yep. the other way, you damage your regulator. Yep. With all the rules and everything we were involved in paintball, we had to chronograph our guns for velocity all the time, keep them safe. We couldn't degas them, that was not part of the rules. So we had to develop a regulator, which you could turn in any direction. Okay. And it's a unique regulator because it's balanced. And what yes. that means is, if you drop this tank from 1800 PSI or 4000 PSI down to 900, you get a small differential change on the other side of your regulator. A lot of people don't know it, okay. but it's there. When you balance a regulator, you have a small port that takes that pressure change and pushes it to the other side of the piston, which basically compensates and brings that pressure back in range, even though you had that large pressure drop. Definitely. But what else it does, which is really interesting, is if you develop a leak, your regulator starts to leak. Yes. A balanced regulator like this will actually continue to regulate at pressure, will not build. And then the excess goes to atmosphere. Okay. So you'd have a small leak, yeah. You'd never necessarily know, though, in a, in a, in a day of the, you know, shooting an air rifle, because yeah. it'd be such a small leak, you'd lose a little efficiency. Obviously, we'd correct it, yeah. but it's a very unique regulator technology as well. Wow. Um, oh, it's ambidextrous. You can, Which you know, is good for us left-handers, okay? Yeah. And we also tried to position the magazine so yeah. that it's not, for a lefty, it's yes. not in your neck. Yep. Um, you know, the magazine, the quick loaders, which you guys are 25 oh, wow. caliber, it's about 25 shots. Yep. Uh, I don't have my glasses, so I will try to find the. I know the feeling. You know the feeling. <laughs> oh, huh? God, yes. Where is it? I'm sorry about that. That's but anyway, okay. yeah. it's magnetic, pops okay. apart for quick loading. Gotcha. And it also is floating when you reposition it. We, we designed it to float. You know how when you, uh, when you basically, when you. When you fire these guns, if it mags off a little bit, you get a little bit of rub. Yes, which I, yes, I hate. yes, yes, so I know exactly a, what you mean. Basically, I, you actuate this the first time, we get a little float. Okay. And it, we allow to we found it, find it center. So is, it finds nice. the center, lines yeah. it up. And, okay, uh, nice. Oh, grip, grips are not, we haven't, uh, we don't have them here today, but we're, the yeah. grip that will come with it will allow you to adjust your palm as oh. well as your fingers. Good to for get your different your, size hands, yep. Yep, to get your positions. Yep. Um, the three, the, uh, the three, the three gauges, tank pressure, that low pressure we talked about, yep. 125, and then the chamber pressure. And the other wow. thing that's interesting is, as we drop in caliber, we drop in chamber pressure for velocity. You don't need it. So yeah, we actually, you, don't need you know, when you're going into yeah. 22 caliber, you're dropping another 100. Yeah. When you're getting into 117, you're really getting low. Yeah. Um, you know, and so your your shot count again is going to increase. Yep. Um, that's beautiful, though. I just—it's oh, yeah. amazing the technology. And I should—I should comment on that. We've, yeah. We've been in our in, in this industry. We've had yeah. to coat guns the highest levels forever. Yeah. I mean, we've probably made thousands and thousands of different custom variations. Yep. Oh yeah. So we know we think air gunners want some of this. Of course they do. And yes. you know, so our standard gun will come in like a two-tone. Like okay. That. But we're going to provide, you want something like this, this. So you can get some it. custom finishes we, on them. Yeah. We've been doing it for yeah. we, Wow. We actually, we were the first ones in the paintball industry to do this custom finish years and years ago. Nice. So we've been doing it for a long time. Wow. Um, it's, oh, tank. This is somewhat important for air gunners now. 
when we travel around the world in paintball, we always had to show them this tank was completely empty. Yes. So we design, we have a bleeder valve in here that allows you to bleed the tank or the gun. You have a choice based on the way you turn it. Yeah. But basically, this tank's made so we can very rapidly remove it, show the airline, hey, completely empty, and travel. Which we've noticed some people have valved these tanks. Mm -hmm. may, they may or may not know it. You may or may not get, get caught by the airline. But if the airline sees a tank with a valve in it, they don't like that. They can often take your tank, which is extremely yeah. irritating. So you're just um, trying to cover every aspect of this. Yeah. We're trying. I mean, yeah. we have we have done nothing else. The only thing we've done for our entire lives is build yeah. markers and, uh, that's, that's and electronics else. and um, you know and valving. And um, we well, were really dying to do yeah. this for a long time. Yeah. Very busy with with our industry, but. Yep. We finally, it's a two, we're two and a half years into development of this. It's a long time, a it lot takes, of work. It takes time, but, but you know what, it looks still, like it's well worth it. We're still six it. months. Yeah. We're not going to, we don't think we're going to be ready to sell for six, six okay. more months. We're going to perfect, we got to take a little bit of weight out. We're going to have to mill. These, these uh, guns, we didn't mill enough material out of the hidden areas. Okay. We'll drop the weight. And get I mean, a little it, lighter. It's not, it's not designed to be a particularly light gun anyway, yeah. but. Yeah. Still, and then this is the first of what we hope to make many wow. guns using our technologies. Wow, very impressive. I, I mean, I really appreciate you showing this to us because this is something that uh, a lot of you guys out there can look for to the future. Yeah, so pay attention to the Scout air guns. Remember that one. Anyway, William, thank you yep. so much. Thank I you. really appreciate it. Thank you.